Kim in. <coughs> this boy and this girl. We went to a place up the hills in the mountains like this. Fueron a un lugar en las montañas parecido a este. And it was called Echo Point. Y se llamaba Echo Point, punto del eco. Mm. So they were talking, and the girl said to the boy, uh, "Why don't you say something, and the echo will come back?" Y estaban hablando, y entonces la chica le dijo al chico, "¿Por qué no dices algo para que vuelva el eco?" So he said, "This is all rubbish." Baloney. Y entonces él dijo, esto es eh, una basura, no funciona. No basura. No basura. Muy baloney. No reply came. Y no vino ninguna respuesta. And then the girlfriend says, oh, try again. Y entonces la chica dijo, hombre, intenta otra vez, tiene que funcionar. And then he went out because he loved his girlfriend. He wanted to do. Entonces fue al punto del eco porque como amaba a su chica, pues bueno, pues lo hacía de nuevo. So he went again to the point and shouted, "I'm the most handsomest, handsomest man in the world." Y entonces fue al punto del eco y gritó, "Soy el chico más guapo del mundo." And then. After that, the echo came back. Y después de eso, el eco volvió. Basura, baloney. <laughs> <laughs> y decía basura, lo que había dicho antes. <laughs> <laughs> She holds it like this. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're an old family, yes. Yaro muzi mafkaro minashe mehu. Yaro muzi mafkaro minashe mehu. My friends, forgive me. I'm feeling drunk. Yaro muzi mafkaro. Does this hat know of anything of life? It does not. I'm going to do it in a different way. Yeah, in the corner, I think. Like that. God.
gangsters of life. More in the corner. You're gangsters of life. You're robbing life of its true value. This man phones. Este hombre llama por teléfono. A friend. Un amigo. Amigo. And he says to his amigo. Le dice a su amigo. Did you see my death notice? Pudiste ver el anuncio de mi muerte. In El País. En El País. So he says, yes, I saw the announcement of your death. Entonces el otro le dice, pues sí, vi el anuncio de tu muerte. But please tell me, where are you phoning from? Pero por favor, ¿desde dónde me llamas? Next question. La siguiente well, pregunta. Have another joke. We have three or four questions here. Good. Now this one person went to the doctor. <laughs> yeah, he went to Dr. Ramon. Ramon Carvalho. Yeah. And this man was 40 years old. And he says, Dr. Carvalho, can I live to 90? So Dr. Carvalho being a psychiatrist, one of the best in Spain, yeah. he said, do you drink? I don't drink. Do you smoke? I don't smoke. Do you gamble? Then the Dr. Cabarcho tell him, if you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't gamble, you have no vices. Then why you want to live to 90? I could explain to you my jokes. <laughs> you know, in Las Vegas, I've been many times lecturing at the Las Vegas. Las Vegas, America. Yeah. I've had conferences and lecturing at Las Vegas University. So one day this young lady, she was very pretty. Um, was with her husband. And we went to visit one casino. Y fueron a visitar un casino. So, uh, I think it was a boyfriend, not husband, you know? Creo que era un novio, no, su marido. But they looked like husband and wife. Pero vivían como marido y mujer. <coughs> so, um, he says, putting your numbers on the roulette wheel. Entonces dijo, poner los números en la, para la ruleta. Yeah, so you write down your proper, you know, why don't you, you know, take the number of your age? Hmm. So she said, yes, good idea. So she put the number 26. So the wheel turned round and round and round. And the ball on the roulette wheel ended at number 34. And the girl fainted. No, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, explain it. Can you explain that one way? Can you explain that one way? Can you explain that one You see, in this world, never ask a woman her age. Así pues, en este mundo no preguntéis nunca a una mujer su edad. She will always tell you less. <laughs> Never ask a man his income. <laughs> he will always tell you more. <laughs> Next question. La siguiente pregunta. ¿Tú preguntaría? Pregunta. Eh, dile que es un poco compleja la pregunta, pero que como yo veo que él... Es la corta, la corta. Bueno, la corta, que veo que supuestamente la corta el tiempo. Quería preguntarle si hay algún procedimiento para sublimar el espíritu, sublimando el espíritu, elevando el espíritu, haciéndolo más grande. Se puede disolver la materia del cuerpo humano, o sea, transformarse el espíritu. ¿Qué estás complaining about his fat? Dice que si se estás quejando porque eres gordo. No, no, no. No, no, no. Qué humor tiene, tiene un humor de vida. Tiene un humor de vida. What is the question? The question is. If through any meditation practices you can supply so much your spirit that your body could be dissolved, your physical body. <laughs> If through any meditation practices, do you think you, so what you work? <laughs> It's like actually more complaint of being fat. Uh, that if through any meditation practice you can find uh, a point where your body would be dissolved, no, disintegrated. In life. Yes, yes, yes. If you can reach the stage of nirvikalpa samadhi, si puede llegar al estado de nirvikalpa samadhi, according to Ramakrishna, de acuerdo con Ramakrishna, your body will disintegrate in 21 days. Tu cuerpo se desintegraría en 21 días. And me, amigo. Y es tu amigo. I don't want you to disintegrate in 21 days. No, 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 no. You know, there were two sisters. Sabéis, había dos hermanas. And both of the two sisters were spinsters, not <coughs> yeah, yeah, no husband. And the two sisters were sitting at the fire on a cold Spanish night. Y las dos hermanas estaban sentados frente al fuego en una fría noche española. So the one sister was reading the newspaper. Una de las hermanas leía el periódico. He says, she says, some people are so lucky. Y ella dijo, algunas personas tienen tanta suerte. And here the two of us are sitting all alone. Y aquí estamos las dos sentadas totalmente solas. And look at this report in the newspapers. Y mira este reportaje que sale en el periódico. This one woman was married four times. Hay una mujer esta que se casó cuatro veces. And she cremated all her four husbands. Y ella ha incinerado a sus cuatro maridos. Here we are sitting all alone. Aquí estamos las dos solas. And this woman got four husbands to burn. Y esta, y esta mujer tiene cuatro maridos para prender fuego. <laughs> this person was suffering of insomnia. Había una persona que sufría de insomnio. Tom sleeps. Que no podía dormir. Yeah. So she went to Dr. Ramon Carpaggio. Así que fue al Dr. Ramon So Dr. Ramon Carpaggio said, look, before you go to bed, 
you take a few martinis. <laughs> because this Valium and Librium is no good. If you take a few martinis, then you can go and speak. So this lady tried it out. And next week she went back to Dr. Ramon Carvalho. And so of course the doctor asked, did you sleep well? Y el le preguntó, bien? So the woman replies, La mujer dijo, I enjoyed the martinis so much that I had to keep awake. Questions? Otra pregunta. In America, you know that that stupid place, America. <laughs> In those olden days, <laughs> they had these awesome cart doctors, quacks, they called them. Tenían este este carricoche de caballo que lo llamaban doctores quacks. And they used to sell bottles of medicines. Ah, claro, esos que iban con el carricoche y vendían botellas de medicina. Right. That could cure anything. Lo podían curar cualquier cosa. If you are bald, it make your hair grow. Si era calvo, te hacía crecer el pelo. If you got stomach trouble, it fix up your stomach. Si tenías problemas de estómago, lo arreglaba. Right. If you got ulcers, it fix up your ulcers. If you got appendicitis, it fixes everything. Si tenías everything. ulcera, arreglaba la ulcera, apendicitis, el apendicitis, todo. Right. So this quack, they call them quacks, not doctors, quacks. Yes, yes, the quacks, que lo llaman quacks, no doctores, sino quacks. Yeah. So he went to this one little town. Y fue a una pequeña ciudad. And he says, my friends, ladies and gentlemen. Y dice, amigos, eh, señoras y señores. So this is a great invention of mine. Esto es un gran invento mío. Drinking this medicine, I am living now for 400 years. Bebiendo esta medicina, son ya 400 años los que llevo vivo. So in the audience, there was one skeptic. Y en la audiencia había un escéptico. Mm. So this skeptic, you know, a uh, doubtful person. Is yeah, sceptical. So this one doubtful person who went to the assistant of this quack. So calling calling him in private. He says, is this quack? 400 years old. So the assistant says, Sir, I don't know. Because I'm only working for him for 200 years. <laughs> Question.